Hey there, I am Bogdan Budaka and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another mind workout. Today's topic is messaging and the MQTT protocol. So let's try to wrap our heads around it together and dig right in. I have a few notes here to help us get started. I've done a bit of research. So messaging, the MQTT protocol is used for communication between processes, threads or reactive or distributed systems. So basically, if you'd have separate services, you would have a means of communication between these services, hence the distributed systems part. Basically a building block of distributed systems. Uh, the message queue paradigm is a sibling of the event topic, the publisher subscriber pattern, which is used for a more localized approach. And the other key element here is that the publisher and subscribers are decoupled. So what are the benefits? A uh, message driven architecture is the foundation of scalable, resilient and ultimately responsive systems. These are key elements of the Reactive Systems Manifesto. You can, of course, read about it uh, online. I'll also link to it in the presentation resources. But just to get an idea from what I understand, so scalable refers to being, uh, being reactive to, to increased workloads. Resilient means that it can face up to failures. And responsive means that it can uh, react to any kind of issues and still deliver in a timely manner. And um, another key element here is that it leverages lightweight and uh, lightweight because it relies on the uh, TCP IP protocol. So it leverages lightweight and async communication between different uh, components across networks, decoupling, uh, thus decoupling from time and space. Uh, and uh, of course, the quality of service can be configured. So you have uh, some control over the, the certainty of your deliveries. So uh, quality of service can be configured to assure delivery with some overhead. Uh, unlike, for example, with the event topic approach, which uh, where decoupling can cause uh, message delivery issues. So just to get a visual, these are the these are the key elements of a reactive uh, system. This, this is from the reactive systems manifesto, and uh, such a system should be responsive, resilient, message driven, and uh, elastic. So uh, let's look at a couple of small examples. So the first one, imagine that you have a website and you have a new user. Uh, registration so a user comes in they want to register they send a post uh, http request to your user service the user service gets it and publishes a message to the mqtt broker so uh, the email service is uh, subscribed to that mqtt message broker uh, to that particular topic and uh, so it gets the message that there's a new registration and probably there would be some payload in the message uh, to help identify the user and then the email service would proceed and uh, send the verification email so the user service and the email service can communicate uh, in an async and decoupled manner just through this uh, MQTT message broker it would be that would be a different machine a different uh, service so they, they wouldn't care about uh, how it's done they would just use the message broker so uh, another one would be, for example, uh, publishing a new video to a site like YouTube. So the user comes in, they uh, post a new video, so the video service gets it, and it publishes a message to the MQTT message broker. And basically, the notification service would be listening, and uh, it gets the uh, it gets the message that there's a new video. So it basically notifies all the subscribed users to that respective channel. Hey, there's a new message out. So uh, yeah, that's those. These are a couple of very small uh, use cases and how uh, how this could be useful. So yeah, some resources here uh, and here we just have a command to help us uh, run the container and some configuration. So we will use the Mosquito uh, broker for our messaging for our MQTT broker. This is a Docker page. It has a nice man page. You can read about it online. So I'll just get the image. Should be fairly fast, okay. So I already have a conf ready, a conf file ready, just to have a look. So the port default one eight eight three, the bind address and allow anonymous true. So we don't need to use any credentials. So now we have the image. I'll need this path. So I will get the command from here. This will just help us to fire up the container. So here we go. And here I need to input the conf file path. So I'll get it from here. 
happening here zero so, so okay so our container is filed up fired up the mosquito broker is running it's listening on the port so now for the demo time we have a couple of very small uh, applications very basic stuff spring and kotlin nothing too fancy nothing too complicated just uh, using the spring integration and qtt library for our example so we have a publisher a subscriber i'm using them on different ports and they will communicate with each other through the mosquito uh, mqtt broker which we're running in the local docker container okay so just have a look at the code so the publisher for example it has a message service the constructor gets a topic and a broker we have a publish function which receives a message here we just get a random client id and then in the try catch we create an mqtt client uh, connection options we configure those then we connect and then we publish we send to that topic and we send uh, our message the one we receive here and then we disconnect this is super simple super basic stuff then we just print out that the message has been published so and here uh, very imaginatively we have a topic named topic and this will be our connection point so when the message will be published the topic will be created the message will be sent to it the broker will arrange everything internally and uh, our subscriber will listen to that topic and it will receive the message so here we create the message service we pass in the topic the broker and we just pass in a message that says new stuff here we call our function so that's it for our for our publisher so the subscriber very similar we have a message service we pass in the topic the broker we have a subscribe function we have a random client id here we get an mqtt client here the connection options we configure those up we connect and here we use the subscribe response method for the topic this gets a call back so we get the string representation of our uh, message payload and we pass it on to a function we created here send notification or email for new stuff so i would imagine here that uh, this would be the email service or the notification service and it gets the message that there's a new there's a new registration or a new video and basically every time there's a new message this method will fire up subscribe with response thus calling our function this would be probably taking care of sending an email uh, starting the process to send an email or a notification here we just do a simple print for our message just to have a look oh so yeah very basic stuff just to get an idea here again we have the topic the connection point of course we create a message service and then we subscribe so yeah that's pretty much it for the code let's fire it up what happens so we'll fire up the subscriber first should be a couple of seconds probably we can see logging in our broker yeah so here you can see that there's a new connection so our subscriber is connected then we'll go to our publisher start it up and actually i'll go back to to our subscriber and hopefully uh, we will see the message here the one that the publisher will send oh yeah here we go so we have the message the publisher sent the message to the broker and the subscriber got the message from the broker so the communication the line of communication is working uh, maybe for a further example would have like this is a small for loop which will iterate three times and just use the method the, the function here so basically we will just send three messages i'll fire this one up again go back to our subscriber hopefully now we will see three messages coming in oh yeah here we go three more messages came in oh yeah every time there's a new message our function here fires up and fires this one up which prints it 
So yeah, now we send free messages on. So the communication between the subscriber, and the publisher via the message broker is working fine. I hope this, uh, this helps you get an idea of, uh, of the MQTT messaging. So yeah, I'll of course upload the code as well so you can play with it. I'll upload the presentation. Uh, I hope this uh, video was uh, as fun for you as it was for me. And uh, I'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section below. And of course, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around.